Hello, today I will show you how to wire car audio at home. Here I have an amplifier, a 4 channel amplifier with front speakers, here speakers, uh, left and right stereo channels. And here I have a power supply, uh, 12 volt, 20 amps. In total, we have 400 uh, watts, and so it's enough for this amplifier who is driving almost 400 watts. First, we have to check if you have uh, 110 volts or 220 volts AC in your county. I have 220 volts, so I switch uh, the power supply to 220. That's right. Then we have to do the connection. Here uh, we have this uh, power cord that's plugging into the, the wallet socket. Uh, so here we have uh, the colors that are cre uh, brown, uh, sorry, plus, negative blue, and this is the earth that you should plug here also. Let me show you. You should plug that in because uh, if you don't, <laughs> when you will touch this power supply, you will, you, there are chances to get shocked. So don't forget to open that. Or you can always use like a normal regular laptop power supply, you just trim the ends of it and you have a plus and a minus, you plug it in also. And uh, so I did here, I have uh, my uh, plus on the plus section here and uh, minus the com on the power supply and these go into our amplifier minus ground and plus let me show you real quick okay now that i plug this in we have uh, this wire from remote to 12 volts plus this wire uh, it's for remote for turning on and off your amplifier but if you don't have like a switch you can just bypass this by wiring from remote directly to 12 volts okay now that we finished with the power supply and the amplifier will open be, be sure to, to make the connection right otherwise it will, it will go into protect or uh, maybe worse if your amplifier is not that good now we have to go to the auxiliary cables we have uh, two RCAs because we have two channels front and uh, rear like they say and every channel has two cables because there are left and right speakers so you just plug it in in the color red to red white to white maybe you will have like two or only two, two rcas not four as i have and here in the middle we have something called out you can wire another amplifier by just by putting some rcas here into directly into another amplifier if you have now that we finished with everything we can just wire our speakers you get your speaker cables and just plug them in plus to plus minus to minus if if you have only one speaker that's powerful enough for the amplifier and you don't want to use all those channels you can just bridge some uh, bridge a channel just one channel if you have two, you have to do two bridges, but you can do that on do that on only one speaker. You can bridge from this minus from the left side with this plus from the right side. It says over here, bridge. Okay, and now we are good to go. <laughs> if something breaks, you always check check the the fuses. You can change them pretty easily. Otherwise, there's something wrong with your amplifier.